Hello, good morning, uh, dear distinguished guests, uh, and then dear chairman. Uh, thank you very much for Professor uh, Junping Dua and Professor Ningqing for your uh, chair of this uh, session and for your nice uh, introduction. Well, in the next 20 minutes, I will focus on the clinical immunology and immunotherapy for chronic hepatitis B uh, patients. Sorry, I give um, some minor modification for the title uh, because about the breakthrough in this field, I, as we know, there, there, almost there is no much like uh, breakthrough in this field. So I just focus on the uh, unmet issues in the field, and then this is the outlines uh, of my presentation. The first, I will give an introduction of the background about the immunological progress in chronic hepatitis B uh, field. Uh, this uh, uh, slide just tells us in China there is a heavy burden of liver diseases, mainly for the viral hepatitis. For example, in China, the uh, prevalence of soft antigen posi positivity is about uh, seven percentage in the total population in our country. So there are almost uh, 93 million HPV, uh, uh, HPV carriers. And then also this in the numbers in the world. Uh, as we know in the field, there is a milestone discovery about in, regarding the soft antigen identi identification by Dr. Bloomberg. Because of the identification of soft antigen, the three aspect, uh, the three field that uh, has been developed very quickly, like there, because of the discovery of, a, of soft antigen, the diagnosis of HPV infection was feasible uh, by using the HPV five markers, as we know. The second, also because of the identification of the discovery of the soft antigen, the HPV vaccine, vaccine has been successfully developed, and then they are very efficient. And the third, in the treatment of the chronic hepatitis B patients, the cure of these diseases are closely associated with the loss of soft antigen. So also, very interesting, the three aspects are related to immunology. As we know, for chronic hepatitis B, two factors drive the disease progression because the HPV can replicate in the hepatocyte in the liver and also induce the immune uh, responses. And during the disease progression, the immunological factors as well as the logical factors drive the disease progression from the chronic hepatitis to liver cirrhosis. Uh, as well, the development of HCC. This is the natural history of the disease. How about the characteristics of the uh, virological uh, characteristics of virological factors in the, in the chronic hepatitis patients? Generally, there are three aspects. For example, uh, the, within the liver, the hepat within the hepatocytes, the HPV can replicate, release their virons. Uh, as uh, the first, so there's a persistent of viral replication. The second is that there is a large amount of surface antigen, includes E antigen. This is a big problem in the patient, in the circulation, as well as in the liver. The third is, the, as we know, the viral reservoir, the existence of CCC DNA. This is the three major factors in the chronic hepatitis patients. How about the immunological factors? or characteristics in this patient. Generally, there are two aspects as well, the impairment of adapt, uh, adaptive immunity, like the CTL, T cells are impaired, as well as the B cells impairment. Uh, Professor Rob Tim will address the CTL, T cells in, the, in, in this session. And because of the impairment of adaptive immunity against HPV, which leading lead to the HPV persistence. The second is in the patient, there is a active, like the hepatic injury or hepatic inflammation. Also, this associated the abnormal, like non-specific immune responses, including the increased TH17 as well, the abnormal NK cells 
and, and others. Well, recently, some progress is, has been made in this field. And then uh, the question is, why in chronic hepatitis patient, especially in the immune activated patient or immune clearance patient, their, their active or their valid CDR T cells exist. This, uh, uh, this study by Dr. Mana Mayani, they identified the CD16 positive and CD103 positive resident memory T cells uh, exist within the liver, especially in the liver compared to the blood. Uh, they increased uh, this kind of cells uh, in the liver. And also, these cells can be activated and express higher levels like CD69 as well, CD103, um, compared to the healthy person, the HPV infected individuals exhibited the high levels of these kind of cells, especially in the immune clearance phase. Well, these cells express IL-2. We can see this can be activated by different epitopes. We can see here, the, all the cells express IL-2, and they are CDR positive cells. What, why they can be worked, they can work in, the, in, the, in this patient because the resident memory T cells can release porphyrin and then clarify the viral replication or control the viral replication within the hepatocyte. Also, as, at the same time, simultaneously, there is the interferon alpha or TNF, uh, interferon gamma or TNF alpha to clear the virus within the hepatocyte as well. And recently, also, the B cells has been, has a, uh, uh, draw a lot of attention in the field, such as uh, they, uh, ident they identified a typical memory B cells. They found that this kind of cells has been expanded in the chronic hepatitis B patient compared to the healthy control or healthy uh, HPV vaccinated individuals. And then also the atypical memory B cells express high levels like the PD-1 and then FCRA-1. And then because of this, the function of these cells, the memory B cells are impaired. If we compare in the healthy person, or uh, they receive the HPV vaccination, the B cells can be successfully developed and then release a lot of soft antigen against the soft antibody against the soft antigen. And then, this is helpful to clarify the viral reservoirs or soft antigen in vivo. However, in a patient with chronic HPV infection, these cells, uh, these rest, uh, B cells, are in, uh, the, function of, the function of these cells is impaired. They express the PD-1 and also they release very few antibodies against the soft antigen. Uh, we can see from the classical to uh, typical uh, memory, uh, memory B cells, this changes like this. And also, we can see this is a big change uh, uh, the, 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 for the dysfunction of B cells in the patient with chronic hepatitis B. Also, our group, our team, uh, have identified the high, hyper activation of B cells in a patient with chronic hepatitis B, like the ex express high level of CD79, uh, CD71 as well, uh, compared to the healthy person. Recently, a lot of study appear, uh, has been paired to the cytokines or cytokines uh, the signals in their patient. Uh, for Dr. Kentu, they enrolled four groups of patients like uh, the self resolved acute hepatitis B or chronic hepatitis B or chronic hepatitis B with flare, uh, AOT flare. They have identified very interesting findings like they find the elevated CXCL line as well as CXCL10 and then CXCL11 are 
significantly increased in the acute resolved hepatitis B compared to the chronic hepatitis B patients. This is very interesting. All these findings indicate the elevation of these cytokines are closely associated with the functional cure of this disease. During the last 10 years, our team also identified the suppressive regulatory T cells significantly increased in a patient with chronic hepatitis B as well in the HPV associated HCC patients. We, we can, uh, here we can find the regulatory T, T cells is incre are increased positively according to the disease progression because the regulatory T cells are increased in this patient that suppress the anti-tumor activity, the antiviral activity in this patient. Well, this slide just some, give a brief summary of the patient about the whole scenario of clinical immunology in chronic hepatitis B. They just um, show us like the impairment of the like CD T cells, not, uh, not only this CD T cells, but also with the dendritic cells or the B cells as well in net immunocytes in this patient. So it's very difficult to use a single immune therapeutic approach to restore the immune function against HPV in this patient. Now, most important things is the impairment of HPV-specific CD8 T cells exhaustion. This uh, j sl slide just shows us like the regulatory T cells or PDC or some suppressive immunosignals suppress or induce the function of HPV-specific spe uh, CD8 T cells leading to the dysfunction, uh, exhaustion of these cells. Why? If you think about this, probably this reason are closely re related to the viral load as, we, as well as the soft energy, energy, as well as the active replication of H, like the existence of HPV. Well, how about the antiviral therapy induce or influence the host immunity? This is just a brief summary about uh, the the, the patient, like the E antigen positive patient, uh, when the, this patient received antiretroviral uh, antiviral therapy, there is a full viral resolu uh, resolution, and uh, then following with following the normalization of AOT levels. The second, some of some of the individuals developed like E antigen cell commotion, but it is very difficult for the, the for these individuals for this patient to develop, develop their soft antigen cerebral convulsion. If so, there is a full restoration of immune responses against HPV in these individuals. Well, because of these findings, and then we just summarized our findings as well as findings from others, we put forward like the climbing slope, uh, slope hypothesis. For example, the patient, for the patient like disabled because of the virologic factors, uh, immune disorders, or liver pathogenesis. If they re re restore or they, they become the healthy, like healthy, like us, healthy person, they sh should receive the antiretroviral therapy. There is a, there, there, there is a full viral resolution as an then follow with the e antigen cell conversion. But it's very difficult to obtain, to achieve the soft antigen loss in this patient. But however, if the patient received an antiviral therapy as well like the pack interferon or nukes for like three or five years, some of the patient develop to soft antigen loss. Uh, this is very interesting. It means there is a immune restoration in this patient. Well, this cartoon just sum summarizes the patient like the, in the patient with chronic hepatitis B, there is a virons, E antigen, soft antigen. Uh, to clarify these virological like virons or antigens depends upon the drugs or 
host immunity against the diseases. The first, we can use the nukes or interferon to suppress the viral replication. The second is the E antigen serial conversion. And then the, with the development of E antigen, anybody, uh, anybody against E antigen. But how to achieve the surface antigen loss? It depend on drugs or depend on the host immunity against HPV, like HPV specific, specific CD at T cells. If so, there, there is a, like the development of soft antibody against the soft antigen. So this is depend upon the host immunity or normal drugs in the future. So how to cure these diseases? To answer this question, we should address what is the unmet issues in this field. This is, as we know, for the patient, we have drugs suppress the viral replication. But a met issue is two aspects. One is the existence of CCC DNA. The other is the a lot of a lot amount of soft antigen within the vivo, within the hepatocyte, or within the liver. So to induce the host specific immunity is very, very important. Uh, this cartoon just shows probably for uh, according to our slope. Uh, Colombian slope hypothesis probably is, is not, not, not very difficult to, to achieve the E antigen serial conversion. How to achieve the soft antigen serial conversion is very difficult. It's better to use the drugs, like to suppress the soft antigen synthesis to clarify the CCC DNA. But so far, we have no this kind of drugs, probably novel immune therapy are urgently needed. If so, we can achieve this purpose, like the soft antigen serial conversion. In this aspect, a lot of scientists in the world explore some different immune therapy for this, this patient. But uh, this for like Robert Lamford, and they, they have very good data for their preclinical study. Right now, some clinical study uh, has been uh, uh, are ongoing in clinical trial. And also, we use the cytokine uh, induced killer cells to treat, treat the patient. We also find there is a high level of e, e antigen serial conversion in this, in this patient, but it is very difficult to got, got the soft antigen loss. And also, some other Professors like, like the Dr. Yu Meiwen and other professors, including Dr. Akaba as well, Dr. Paternity, uh, like the, including Dr. Ferrari as well, Miami, even including the, some experts in China, explored the immunological uh, therapy for this patient. Unfortunately, so far, the previous immune therapies are not successful. So we need to do a lot of things in this field. But you may ask me whether a patient has been cured by use immune therapy in this field. The answer is yes. This like by, by Dr. Law, uh, Dr. Law and then his colleagues has published the findings like the patient with leukemia and then simultaneously with the chronic hepatitis B, they use their donor soft antibody positive bone marrow cells liver, uh, uh, transplantation, and their patient got a soft antigen clearance in this patient. But this is very difficult to du duplicate in clinic because of the problem of HA match in this field. In the future, probably the Clearance neutralizing antibodies can be useful for the cure, functional cure or cure of these diseases because the antibody can uh, mediate the neutralization of virons or antigens as well and then induce the other functions to clear the virus or to boost the immune responses against HBV. Replication within the liver, especially like the some specific epitopes like pre-S1, pre-S2, or in the major East regions, are very important uh, 
uh, with, uh, we, we should pay more attention in this field. This is probably, probably the last slide, and how to open their healthy door for their in, uh, patients. The first is their, oh, this is, sorry, it's Chinese. Then I will English in the left side. Then like, like this is the cure in the HBV. The English is the stone from other mountain may attack the jet, like the nukes. The second is specific immune uh, therapeutics can clear the origin of the soft cell antigen. Uh, this is the summary of our uh, presentation. The first is that, as we know, there is an immune disorder in the patient because of the Im impairment of innate immunity as well as adapt adaptive Im immunity. The second is the anti-rival treatment can re partially restore the immune responses against HPV. In the future, we should develop novel drugs to suppress the soft antigen to clarify the CCCDNA, or we develop a novel immune therapeutics to control the chronic HPV infection. At last, at last, I should express my thanks to my colleagues and then collaborators in this field. I should express my thanks to like, my co collaborator with Professor Bingao. Also, he, he, you, you come here, and then thank you very much for your attention.